appreciation. Their message was clear, and if you didn't hear it, we're going to need your help. You saw it. A few hundred people gathered in South St. Pete to voice their opposition to a ban on gag grouper fishing in the Gulf. It just really stinks that they're trying to take it away. But regulators say the ban is necessary because gag grouper is overfished in the Gulf. There's more fish out there than I've ever seen. And while there was some opposition at the rally, we're commercial to, uh, fishermen, we're being kicked off the property because we have a different and, uh, point of view. Most people here agreed the ban is putting a serious dent, not only in the more than $7 billion a year recreational fishing industry, but in tourism as well, because if you can't take your catch home, why come to Florida to fish? People come down and if they can't go fishing because of the closure, then they'll go to another state like Alaska or just one other state that might be able to offer uh, fishing that they can take home some fish as well. And we'll all be out of jobs and uh, we won't be able to eat any of the fresh grouper out of our uh, Gulf of Mexico. The location of the rally is no coincidence. It's right across the street from the National Marine Fisheries Service in South St. Pete. We're going to Washington, D.C. Organizers asked people to contact their representatives and get them to oppose the ban. Currently, it only applies to waters at least nine nautical miles off the west coast of Florida. But a vote in April could bring that ban closer to the coast. In St. Petersburg, Janie Porter, 10 News.